cyclone Bulbul is continuing towards the coast of India this morning. It currently has winds of 90 miles per hour and a pressure of 984 millibars, our latest observations, with further intensification likely during the course of today. Um, at the moment, the CDPS is looking again towards a potential landfall at Chaimari, a small island in West Bengal, on November the 10th. CDPS stage 4 for this uh, could be a hurricane strength storm by that point uh, but mainly the rainfall is the biggest threat out of everything along the coast with up to 350 millimeters of rain possible. The wind field isn't particularly large at the moment but it is increasing 16.4 north 87.4 degrees east uh, and this is the current distances in miles 254 miles from Puri 264 from Srikakulam 287 from Visakhapatnam, 294 from Kuttak and 427 from Kolkata. Over in Bangladesh, which could also be significantly affected by this storm, around 450 miles away. Signal 3 warnings are in effect there right now along the uh, coastal ports and maritime regions. Um, that is generally uh, considered to be a standby preparedness measure, uh, which will probably be upgraded in due course. So these are the expected rainfall totals in the next seven days as a storm reaches the coast. There is still some uncertainty about what exactly is going to happen with the storm's track. The GFS is one of the models that are, that are now back on board with it recurving back towards the south. So we're talking barely a landfall along the coast of the Ganges River Delta region and then dipping back towards the south again uh, as a remnant most likely back into the Bay of Bengal and probably no chance for regeneration. So mainly the biggest threat really is the first three days of that forecast where it's expected to strike that region possibly with hurricane force winds. Um, sea surface temperatures fairly warm, 28 or 29 degrees Celsius. They'll drop off a little bit as it gets nearer land. And this is another look here at what that wind field is going to look like when the storm reaches the coast there. Parts of India definitely will receive tropical storm force winds. Hurricane force winds possible in West Bengal and possibly into Bangladesh. And then the storm capitulates very quickly. There's hardly anything left emerging off the coast by the time we get to the early to middle part of this uh, next week. And again, looking at that whole region there, rainfall amounts could reach up to 350 millimeters, which is indicated on our latest um, information. These are the chances of tropical storm force winds then as well, up to 80% chances for parts of that region there, south of Kolkata and over at Kulna as well. 80% chance there, Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh, also at 30% amongst many other locations there on that graphic. You can find more on our social mediums. This is what the uh, models are currently saying at this point. Um, in terms of intensity, the HWRF still wanting a Category 2 strong one at that. Wind shear will rise in the next uh, 48 hours, so the prime time for intensification is between now and tomorrow night. Sea surface temperatures starting to drop just a little bit as well. There's that model spread in terms of what they're actually predicting. HWRF now doing a big loop over Bangladesh before again emerging out over the Bay of Bengal. Its aerial coverage is certainly increasing as we look at satellite imagery now, uh, first visible imagery appearing as well. The water vapor imagery just showing how moist that system is, uh, possibly uh, showing a little bit larger than what it actually is on the western side because it's near the edge of the imagery on Himawari 8. Uh, but near the center there, that core, still very powerful cloud tops and potentially an eye which is still yet to really appear. This storm needs to be watched very closely over the next 48 hours as it moves towards the north. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.